Dieu, les ramène envers toi. Mon Dieu, mon Dieu, les ramène en ces jours vers toi.
with a lot larger uh, pore structure than uh, this simple sponge here. But anyways, it's it's just what I had on hand and it works. Uh, so that's what do-it-yourselves actually all about, uh, using whatever you have on hand to create something. Uh, you'll also need an air pump, um, a bottle, preferably two liter or one liter depending on the size of your aquarium, um, and you're also going to need a couple of suction cups. Now the suction cups I'm using uh, I believe came from a, uh, a heater. Uh, if you can see, um, they have a nub here, I'm sorry, a nub right here that uh, is going to uh, be needed. So something similar to that is what you're going to need. Uh, so to start out, you take your pop bottle or juice bottle, rinse it very well, uh, remove the cap, and drill some holes in it. I'll tell you why we're drilling holes in that later. Next is a hole in the neck of the bottle here. Now the hole only needs to be slightly smaller than your airline tubing. The reason being is because you're not siliconing it in place, you want it to just simply be held snugly in there. Now if you use a um, a drill bit that is slightly smaller than your airline tubing, you'll accomplish just that. Um, next is a couple of holes in the side of the, the bottle, preferably near the bottom and near the top. After that, uh, some holes at the top of the bottle. Um, well, actually, this would be the bottom, but we're going to be positioning this upside down, so this is now the top. Uh, the more holes you create, uh, the more bubbles you're going to get out of the top and the quieter it will be. Um, you'll see that later in the video when we show uh, this actually functioning. Uh, so for putting this together, it's really quite simple. You take your K1 coldness media, which I have here. This is about a liter of it, um, as you can see. If you look at my other videos, you'll be able to uh, get some more information on this K1 coldness. Um, take your K1 coldness and uh, fill up your bottle. I like to use a large mouthed bottle because it's simply easier to get your coldness in and it comes with a bigger cap which allows you to have many holes in it. So once you fill up your, your bottle with the K1 coldness, you can go ahead and insert your airline hose. So it's going to be a tight fit to get it in there, but it, it will go in. Now, uh, you just want the exit of the hose to be in about the midway point, and it should just uh, stay in there by itself. As you can see, it's not going to go anywhere. From there, put your cap back on. Again, we've already got the coldness in there. And then you can uh, put your suction cups on. Um, now this is the reason for the nubs on the uh, suction cups is because they can squeeze in but they can't, uh, they can't come out. They will come out if you pull on them but uh, uh, they, they're in there firm enough to uh, hold themselves in place. So that's it. Next, take your sponge, I've already cut a hole in it, and put it over this, over the end here. And that's it. Plug it into your airline tube, put it in your tank, and turn your air pump on. And that's it. Um, now the reason why we drilled the holes in here in the cap is very simple. I wanted the maintenance to be extremely low on a filter like this. Um, and the reason being is uh, for these holes is when you're ready to clean your sponge, which should be weekly, this, the more often the better because it's only used for mechanical. There's really no biological purpose that you should be using it for. That's, for, that's what your K1's for. While you will have some nitrifying bacteria on the sponge, you should want most of your bacteria here. So clean your sponge often. Uh, so when you remove your sponge, you can leave your filter running. If you didn't have a cap and your filter was still running, you're going to have a lot of K1 coming out. Uh, the only way to avoid that is to turn the airline off, the K1 will float to the top, and then you could take um, the sponge off. This is just a lot easier. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I'm going to show you installation, uh, what it will look like in your tank and turning it on. Um, 
that's it. Uh, the cost of something like this is, I mean, I had I had this sponge kicking around, so that's free. Airline hose, uh, I don't know, maybe 25, 10 cents a foot, or 25 cents a foot. It depends on where you're shopping, so you're not looking at a lot of, a lot of money there, maybe a dollar or two dollars. Pop bottles free. Um, Unless you're, I mean, you're going to buy it, of course, and but you get to drink the pop or juice out of it, so uh, you're going to do that anyways. So this is pretty much free. Um, suction cups probably have some kicking around. Um, if you don't, they're pretty cheap as well, maybe 30, 40 cents. Um, K1 Caldness Media is what's going to cost you the most. Um, there's not a lot of places that sell it by the liter, but uh, I, I've noticed on eBay there is um, one place. I believe it's in the UK though, and I think he wants around. 10 to 15 dollars a liter which is pretty expensive but uh, if you can find something local or maybe find a few friends that um, want to split on a 25 liter bag uh, it should only cost you maybe three dollars per liter two to three dollars a liter then your air pump maybe 10 15 bucks uh, so no more than twenty dollars for everything um, now you could make several of these and run several tanks. Something like a two liter size with one liter of K1 should be able to handle uh, a nicely stocked uh, 30 gallon uh, tank, uh, 25 to 30 gallon tank. Um, it's uh, If you ran maybe two of them, you're looking at maybe uh, a 50 gallon tank, 55 gallon tank. Uh, then you can upgrade maybe to a four liter jug and uh, have that in the tank. Um, now I, I know that it would be an eyesore and you don't really want to see it, but once you see it in action, it, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, if somebody come to your house, it's a great conversation piece, you're guaranteed they're going to ask, what, what's that? Um, but anyways, uh, so we have um, a very effective, very cheap, very easy, um, and uh, aquarium filter, so give it a shot. Um, if you do end up trying this and uh, you take some pictures of it, join my Facebook page and, and put some pictures on there. I'd love to see what everybody else is coming up with. Um, but anyways, let's have a look at uh, this in action. So the filter is installed in the tank now. Uh, as you can see, it just sucks the cups to the side. Uh, this, is a re this is a prime example as to why you'd want to position the airline um, when uh, putting it into your bottle to have it in the back of the um, bottle. That way you can hide the airline behind it. Um, also you can notice that the K1 floats up first. Uh, it will float no matter uh, if, the, if the media is cycled or not. Um, for maintenance, all you gotta do is remove this sponge, rinse it off,
quán 